guys good morning everyone i woke up to my house being 52 degrees guys i am so mad i also feel so bad because coco is so cold so i put her in a little barefoot drains blanket but she's eating breakfast now um i just have a little bar i'm gonna head off to a 6 30 core power i'm gonna leave in a second um and the heater in my house as we know or in my car as we know hasn't worked so i'm gonna freeze in the car but here we go Okay, I'm posting my cute Instagram story, guys, and I'm going to post a photo. I'm really, really proud of what my Instagram has been looking like. I've been putting a lot of effort into it, and I know that might sound stupid to some of you guys, but I'm just proud. So, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, I am going to head home. It is currently 7.30. I have a hair appointment at 9 30 my sister is doing my hair justin bieber's new album came out so i'm gonna play that update on core power um i'm gonna be honest i'm not like obsessed with it i do like it but there just hasn't been like a teacher i'm a completely obsessed with and uh, literally all the playlists are so outdated like they're literally playing like 2011 music which would be fun if it was like a throwback but it's not quite that time it's just like a weird playlist but this class was definitely the best it was packed the first one i went to had three people last night I didn't have that many and this time like there were so many people but i forgot everyone obviously works nine to five jobs here so like that makes sense that that's some pit, like busiest but yeah i like it this class is a lot harder than the other ones i've been doing sculpt and then i did the candlelight one um but like i'm not obsessed but also i think it's like completely dependent on like the teachers and stuff i think i'm just not getting like the right teachers you know what i mean i know like people love core power and i actually really do like it but i'm not obsessed does that make sense okay listening to changes updates to come all right good morning guys i am now ready i just showered I'm making some coffee. I have a hair appointment. This is really not organized. These are all pushed back. We're gonna do this one. I have a hair appointment in an hour. It's a 45 minute drive. My sister's doing my hair. Um, here we go. Look at how cute this is, guys. I'm like thrilled about this. Making some coffee. Okay, so I just made some coffee. I really wanted to go to Starbucks, but Maybe I'll just get breakfast and I won't get coffee. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I will drink Keurig coffee and then go to Starbucks. I mean, I act like I, you guys don't know this. Um, I vlog my life every day. But this, to me, is this awful? Like, this doesn't really do... I mean, it does, but it doesn't do, obviously, like, as much as, like, espresso does. But now, Keurig coffee, like, really just does nothing to me. So, anyways, here's my cute little porter mug. I'll have it linked down below. These, um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is hot. Like right now, it's definitely warm, but I love the look of it and it's like so sleek and so cute. So I'm sorry if that's stupid, but I just like, it's not like the hottest thing in the entire world, but it definitely like is a little bit warm in your hand. But overall, I think it's so cute. Okay, so I did a little bit of makeup. I didn't do my hair, obviously, because I'm going to go get my hair done. But yeah, I'm just answering some emails. It's now 8.36. I have this outfit on, um, my American Eagle jeans. The sweater is Revolve. This jacket is Boohoo. And then these Reebok sneakers. I wish I would have gotten this jacket a little bit bigger. I really need nice pea coats because this feels a little bit tight in my arms. Um, when I wear certain things with it, but I still really like it. So I think I just need a bigger size or something. I don't know. I can't decide. I literally still don't have a debit card from the time that my, um, whatever got stolen or I had fraud last week. So that's really been something. So that's been like super annoying. I feel like professional in this coat. Anyways, I'm really excited to get my hair down because I just haven't liked it in quite a few months. I'm going darker again. I was going to go lighter because I love the blonde hair of my sister and my mom um but like it's just gonna be it's way too much of a process and i end up always liking my hair darker i don't like my hair in the in between i either want it to be blonde like theirs which i know probably sounds like it would be bad but it wouldn't because i didn't think it would look good on them either so i think i'm having a chance anyways i'm almost to the hair salon i got my sister a medicine ball because i'm an angel and we just got egg bites i know shocker the fact that they starbucks has the audacity to charge 4.55 for two egg bites is beyond me and what's even more beyond me is the fact that i pay it it's so ridiculous I'm going to get my hair done by her um and i'm gonna make an instagram tv video too so if you guys want to see if you guys want any details on like the cut or the color or like whatever 
um let me know it'll be on the instagram tv video guys i am just really obsessed with like to know it right now like it's just so fun for me to sit here and you're gonna shop the pick you can literally shop every single thing i'm like so obsessed so basically these are also most of my bags are resale and anytime i link a designer bag regardless i will link a resale so like this one's 8.95 that one's 7.95 and that one's 4.75 um just so you guys know but basically if you guys want to shop anything like even home stuff i have everything there a lot of you guys have been asking about these mugs and they're there you just download the like to know it app and then you search me but it's so nice like i've already purchased like three things this morning just from like following other people and seeing stuff i have no likes that's so wait what does that mean i don't know you can also when i start posting these to my feed you can just screenshot it and then it'll go to the screenshot page i don't know where that is and then you can go through and shop it if you guys don't want to shop it right away it is seriously so freaking amazing like oh my gosh so cute so i'm gonna post like daily outfit of the days and just a bunch of stuff around the house this is what i'm gonna be posting to all the time it's just so fun for me like there's something therapeutic about it i'm off to get my hair done here's the before here's the after looks so much better Bye. you're like the mom who thinks this is a photo so i feel so i don't know why this one piece keeps going forward but i feel so much more myself when my hair is like this um let me know what you guys think but it's just like more me so anyways i'm about to go pick up quentin from work i'm gonna get his chick-fil-a on the way home i literally earlier was like quentin we're not eating out anymore seriously like we can just cook like i have so much food at my house blah 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 and um here i am then a few hours later i'm like do you want chick-fil-a i'm so hungry oh my gosh i still need to go to the store to get icing for cookies also it cost me 30 dollars under 30 dollars to fill up my tank here Gas is under $2 right now, guys. Like, that is literally the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't even remember it being that cheap before. But, yeah, I'm going to pick up Chick-fil-A. Hopefully, there's a store around there, too, because I would love to also get icing and then just get that out of the way. But, yeah, I'm going to go do that right now. Gosh, guys, I just feel so much more myself. But if you guys live in Dallas, my sister does hair in Frisco. Wow. So much better. I just feel so much more myself. Oh my gosh, trains. What a beautiful sight. All right, guys, I'm with Q. Um, we're gonna go and get icing for cookies. All right, guys, I ended up getting a Starbucks earlier. I only got my sister one. And now this one's for me. Okay, guys, just picked up some stuff. I got these mason jars for overnight oats from Amazon and I really like these because the lid is just one piece instead of two. So it makes cleaning so much easier, but I'll have them on my Amazon shop page for kitchen. And then we have all these cookie cutters. I got all of these just because I wanted a heart for today. See, there's the heart, but we can use all of them, like a little palm tree. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Sophie and I can make cookies too. Um, I still haven't eaten my food, I need to do that. Okay, Warner Brothers sent another Harley Quinn, like, Birds of Prey package, which is so cool. I worked with them for just, like, a little promotion thing, so I got to see the movie early. But I hope someone in my life wants to be Harley Quinn for Halloween because I have literally everything that you could possibly need. Guys, I love my hair. I feel so much more myself. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Just ate lunch, just cleaned out some of the garage, moved my car in there. I parked my car in my garage for the first time. Um, Coco is actually naked, guys. Happy Valentine's Day, Coco. Okay, so I think we're gonna nap, and then we're gonna later on cook and make bake some cookies and watch a rom-com. That's our Valentine's Day plans. What about you, Coco? Oh. She said those are her plans, too. Oh! You're so cute. So uh, exciting. Wow. Ooh. I didn't get glass ones this time. I don't know if I'll regret that. I meal prep queen. These aren't like meal prep. These are just like containers. I stand corrected. I have still like three or four more of these candles coming, but they were all in back order, so I think they're just coming. You're on a candle spree right now. 
First, you got no, the Casey it, Musgrave. No, it's a candle holder. It's not a candle. It's the uh. acrylic. See? I got five different shapes, sizes, and heights. So, it'll be the centerpiece over there, but I have so much stuff on that table right now because I don't have an office. Coco had to get a shave because her hair was all matty. There you go. She's so tiny. Coco in her birthday suit. Or, as Kenzie likes to say, skinny Coco. Skinny. Skinny. <laughs> Coco, you're so skinny. Yeah. Hi. All right, guys, we have everything for our cookies besides a measuring cup, which I just realized. All right, guys, so we have a little bit of an issue. Trying to cook or just bake in general in a new house is so hard because there's so many things. Like, I needed flour for these to be like the cutout ones from the mix, but they're not. So I still did it anyways with this cute little, well, Quinton and I did, with this cute little um, heart shaped cutout. I got these on Amazon. I'll have all of that on my Amazon shop page. So we have literally one tray for two. This one's like kind of odd as well, but it's fine. <laughs> all right, guys. So this is. What has happened? We were still hoping for the best as far as our heart cookies went. Um, that one no shape. Yeah, sh that's great. Um, it's fine. We have icing to fix these. Um, still rough, but it's okay. Normally I am good. I just like, I keep thinking I can go without things that I don't have it and then here we are. Okay. I'm driving you bananas. Oh my gosh. Guys, so this is the difference between me and Q. I've given up because they're already messed up, so I just put the cream cheese on, or the frosting on, and let it be. Q is perfecting our last, the only one that is actually heart-shaped, because he says you have to save it for the gram. Also, comment down below your favorite frosting. I'm definitely like a cream cheese frosting. It probably sounds weird if you haven't had it. It doesn't taste like cream cheese. Like, that makes me want to actually throw up, because it just tastes like sugar. Not good. It? Yeah, for sure. How do I? Yeah, there's probably like a tab thing. Good morning, everyone. Making my cup of coffee currently. Today's exciting because Q is over and we are going. I know, surprise, surprise. We are making egg bites finally, which we've been talking about doing for so long. Update, guys. So we are preheating the oven to 375. We're gonna use a muffin pan. And then we just have like dice up. Well, okay. I don't have a knife set right now. So things just like keep, we just keep realizing I don't have things as we go. So it's spinach, cheese, and then peppers. You can put like mushrooms and stuff in it too, but Quentin hates mushrooms. Um, and then I just have all the eggs mixed up in here. Honestly, there's not one good recipe online that doesn't take forever to read through. So this is what I got from the last one I found. So hopefully this works out. Here's the base. And then we're just going to go in, by we I mean me, um, and put like, this is 12 eggs, so it's basically one egg per little um, muffin. 10, why can't I speak? Okay, so here's what they look like. Um, and we're preheating the oven at 375 and then baking them for 20 minutes. So updates to come, everyone. Oh, I also put garlic salt on. Wow! Oh my gosh, my hair is so dark. Guys, I'm actually going insane. It doesn't matter what I do. My car makes it up. Nope. I love the amount of pickup trucks that are in Texas. It just really feels like someone can do something here, you know? <sighs> Anyways, first things first. Happy Saturday. Second thing, I keep losing my chargers for things. Like, any Canon charger that looks like this. It doesn't matter if I like write down in my notes where I put it, like it just goes missing and I'm over myself. Third, okay. Um, I was just telling Quentin this, so I'm currently linking a bunch of stuff for you guys. Like I've talked about in this vlog so many times for like to know it. And so I was looking for my Louis Vuitton bag, which I paid like five hundred dollars for a resale, like nothing like this. This bag right here, two hundred sixty-two thousand dollars four hundred. Well, two hundred and sixty-two thousand four hundred ten. So, anyways, on today's agenda. Q is moving from my dad's where he was staying for the past like three weeks and then into his place, which is so exciting. He got his own um, like guest house. So basically it's my mom's or it's my stepmom's business partner's house and they live really close to like all of us. And um, we're just going- Big Dallas dude. Big Dallas dude. And so he has the guest house and it's like 
So, I mean, like, the house was, like, it's Dallas, so, like, they're insane. Um, so, very exciting. He's never even lived on his own. He's always had roommates. So, six. I'm texting my family to make sure they don't skip our little family shindig thing here tonight. Guys, I'm really impressed by myself. I really hate how that one has, like, cheese at the top. Oh, it's kind of gross me out. Like, just the pop, ew. But it looks amazing. All right, guys, so I made these. They're not, like the best things I've ever had but they're not bad it's just hard to like make these and make them good without them being super unhealthy so if any of you guys have any tips let me know we are going to move Q in um I have self tanner on my face I don't know if I said that but this is my really great outfit I hope everyone loves it I've been very into more like browns neutrals beiges Quentin loves browns. Favorite Quentin brand. is like fall in a person. Like he loves like maple. He loves all warm colors, all this stuff. And I all love fall, stuff. but I'm like, you know, it's not like always my style, but I'm kind of getting into it. So we're gonna go move him. I'll bring my camera. We can kind of show you guys a little bit, but yeah. We have to go to my dad's first to get his stuff, which it just shouldn't take that long, honestly. It's already like completely furnished and stuff. Like he's literally just moving in clothes. Pretty far. And his Barefoot Dreams blanket that I got him. Do you want to show them your new Barefoot Dreams blanket? Oh, yes. Wow, this is his Valentine's housewarming gift. Look, it's what a good fun. one. They already know because I vlogged it when I got it, but it's seriously so soft. Amazing. All right, guys, we made it to... Q's new place, so my hair looks really like a mess. Like I said, he's living in a guest house. I'll give you guys a little tour. So, you walk up, there's a bathroom. Um, they used to Airbnb this, so it has like everything you could possibly need. Here is his bathroom. And then, you walk out this way. This is just a linen closet. You go through here, fully furnished, so convenient. Um, here we go. He's so happy. Um, we have a little closet over here. It's a really good size closet, especially for Q. Oh, there's even like a laundry basket already. I know, I didn't even... That is so nice. Um, this chair is so comfy. His new Barefoot Dreams blanket. <laughs> so cute. And then, all we have to do is get a bunch of framed photos of me, guys. This would be great. Um, this dresser, bed, desk, his little mini kitchen area. Very exciting. They already had stuff. I put some of his, like they pretty much had everything already in here, which is really convenient. Um, yeah, and then you go through here. And here is an even bigger walk-in closet. You have so many closets. By the way, I put some things in there because I forgot there was a closet yeah, here. The Sorry. So here we go. Q's own place. How exciting. Okay, it is currently 4 p.m. Um, my family is coming at 6. Okay, so I was really going to cook today, but all my pots and pans, I ordered them on like Monday, and they're supposed to get here by Friday, which is still a long time for delivery when you're used to Prime, and then they got delayed until Wednesday, so I can't cook. That's not happening. But I'm drinking my second cup of the day, and I'm just getting some stuff to run around the house. I was just cleaning. Um... I was just cleaning and doing some stuff. I'm just like literally so happy to live here. I've actually also been working in my iPad because I use my iPad and I use GoodNotes all the time. Lauren kind of credited me with this, but honestly, like now I'm copying her with GoodNotes. So I have used GoodNotes for forever and it's like my favorite note app on my iPad Pro. If you guys are interested in iPad Pro or anything, I think it's worth it. 10 out of 10 could recommend. But I saw how she structured her planner and her like iPad Pro in her favorites video. And I was like, wait a second, that's what I should do. So now I'm the one who's actually copying her. But basically, this is fully from her. Like here's my planner and then hers looks a lot better than mine because this is just Saturday and these are just things I know. This is kind of like a mock type thing. Um, I haven't even finished my to-do, but on one side is a schedule and then on one side is a to-do. So, I don't know. I actually really like that. And then, obviously, I'm going to add some more stuff and whatever, but that's convenient. I still use my Google Calendar all the time. I actually did set up a call with a financial advisor on Monday, which I'm really excited for. I'm going to see how I like them. Honestly, I kind of want to film the journey. One, I need to have a financial advisor. I think it's just a smart thing to do. And then, two, I think it'd be so helpful to some of you guys because I know it would be helpful for me to watch these kinds of videos. So, I think I'm going to do that. Um, we'll see if I like this person and then figure it out from there, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get ready. Um, so it barely takes me any time. I need to put some laundry away and then do my makeup. And then I'll figure out what I'm doing from there. 
Okay guys, I've just been cleaning up a little bit. I mean, not that it was messy or anything, but I just fed Coco. She either eats right here or she goes over here to her bed. Like she takes her food and eats it in here. It's very bizarre. Okay, so everyone's coming over in about an hour and I really, really wish that I could cook and like actually have cute appetizers and stuff and actually host, but that's just not possible today. So my mother is like gluten intolerant and she's being really dramatic about what I order and I'm like, oh, I literally don't even know what I'm getting. I have one hour and everyone comes, so I have to figure out food in that hour. I'm about to move this stuff. Two of my other little candle holder um, kind of jars came in, so these would be so cute. I have one left, I think, and then I can get candles the right size, and this is gonna be so cute. All right, guys, so I just ordered pizza. I found a place that also has the gluten-free option just for my mother to say she no longer needs me to order something gluten-free because she's just gonna eat the appetizers after all. So Quentin, on his way back here, is going to pick up stuff for a cheese board, so we'll see what he gets. <laughs> a little bit afraid. And it's the bacon wrap dates from Trader Joe's. I love bacon wrap dates. My eyes are watering now. I love bacon wrap dates so much, and Trader Joe's has them now, so oh my gosh, why are my eyes watering? So tonight is just like a housewarming little thing with my family on my mom's side because my dad lives super close So like he'll always be over here. I need to make some water um, But I've been cleaning I'm, I'm gonna get everything out that I'm gonna need for the cheese plates and stuff and serving and Light some candles. They're supposedly supposed to be here in 45 minutes I say supposedly because my family is chronically late and I just talked to my mom and she was not even ready at all And they live 45 minutes away. So that's that, guys. Poor little naked Coco. Like, I seriously just feel so bad for her. And my niece Sophie is coming over, and she loves Coco, but she really just, like, wears her out. So, you've got a big night ahead of you, huh, girl? So, for candles tonight, I have this one for my half bath in there. And then, of course, I have my beautiful Casey Musgrave slow burn. That will go over here. And then I just have my really big one that I've been burning. I also got this from Nordstrom Rack. Um, but we've been like actually really burning through this one. I really like this candle lighter. It's not as like annoying as the other ones, but now I'm like, oh. Okay, then we have this candle burning. Here's my outfit, it just changed into something. Very cozy, the sweater is XLE, top is Princess Polly, it's very see-through, but whatever. And then I'm just wearing Levi's, and of course, I'm at my house, so I'm wearing some Ugg slippers. I have the fireplace on, and then I'm gonna use this as my cheese board. I got this at Whole Foods. And then I'm gonna have to use my mini cutting board for the little bacon wrap dates. Um, but I don't know when Q will be here, hopefully soon. Just kind of putting random things away. And then of course, I always have my cameras out, so it's just like cuter. Q brought back a lot, like, Q, this is so much meat. This is just, I just worked out. we could have been totally fine with just this, but instead, another $15 on. Housewarming. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, pizza's coming not that long, like honestly, at 6.55, I think I scheduled it. So yeah, I'm just gonna set out a little, oh, okay. The stock and covered almonds. Um, yeah, I don't have a tray that's big enough, so I'm just gonna, like, do what I can with this. Brooke, I hope that I make you proud. Um, uh, no promises. I, like, actually never make cheese boards, but I love them, so. Okay, honestly, guys, I got everything out on the plates, and Q just kind of arranged it. I'm very impressed by your cheese board skills. Love charcuterie. Oh, charcuterie. He's one of those people who calls it a charcuterie board. Call it as I see it. <laughs> okay, whatever. Um, so this is just brie, Irish cheese, Irish cheese is my favorite, bread, we got the like multi-pack of meat at Trader Joe's, but don't worry, we have three other ones for no reason, because we're not making another cheese board this week. Um, nice. and then he got some chocolate covered almonds here, looks great, great job, Q. Salty I'm, and sweet, you know? I'm very impressed. Thank you. Alright guys, my family just left, I, Quentin is literally so excited right now because he wants my sister and one of his friends to well actually I will just give you a little story time so a few months ago his friend was like asking Quentin I guess when you're here for Thanksgiving he was because my sister's like really pretty and so he's like oh my gosh wait Maddie's sister blah 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 and then I was getting my hair done yesterday with Maddie and she's like can like she was like 
Kenzie, one of Quentin's friends is really hot. Who is he? And I was like, I don't know who you're talking about. Like, I couldn't remember who he just posted with. She's like, he was working out with him. In my head, I wasn't thinking it's who it was because I'm thinking it's someone in Dallas. But I'm like, I don't even know who he would be with in Dallas. And then she's just leaving and she tells me who it is. And it's literally the guy who's already into her. He's a little bit older than her. And yeah, so Quentin is like, I literally like was just now like jumping up and down. It's just us in this house. Like so unbelievably happy. I know. Q, do you have anything you want to say? You know, it's just that season. Just seasonal love, you know? And Kinsey and I, we're good matchmakers. Yeah. You know, we're just here. We're here. This isn't about us. This isn't about me possibly being related to somebody I love a lot. Spencer, we're basically... Brothers. I wasn't even going to say names, but... <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> but... Follow him. He's like the greatest... Amazing trainer in the world, but here's and, the thing: we oh. want, we want, we want other people to be happy. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're we super want. selfless, and we're not thinking about ourselves at all. But he's also is originally from Texas. He is. So that's Southern he doesn't gentleman. live here. So that's the issue. So we're gonna be working on this. You know what? We should really take up matchmaking with Maddie as a hobby. That sounds like something fun to get on the side. You know? No, this is gonna be one and done. One and done. One and done. I would not say either of them are have been the one and done type people, but uh She she has hair. He's got great hair. Yeah. Wow. Wow, they both breathe like two eyes. They like life. You know, it's great. Anyways, comment down below. I don't even know. If you guys made it to the end of this vlog, comment down below KP. I only said that because I saw my phone case. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life vlog. I'm not going to vlog tomorrow. I never really vlog Sundays. But my eyes are watering. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I freaking love my house. I literally love my life right now. I mean, I love my life in general. But I really... Quentin is literally... Like, I wish you guys could see him. Like, I wish I was recording. He's literally, guys, jumping up and down. At what point he was praying, thanking God. I'm just, this, this is the best thing that hasn't happened to me yet. <laughs> it's the thing that I didn't know that I needed, but I needed it. And then it, it oh. That would actually be seriously so, I've never even thought about the fact that eventually Maddie will, there will be someone else. You'll have a friend. I mean, not everybody hopefully. ends up with somebody, but yes, hopefully. I mean, pretty much they do. True. They it's very do. rare Stay that you tuned. don't. We're calling it right now. It's gonna be great. I'm just saying, I hope this vlog plays at their wedding. That would be so fun. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys soon.